Hi Gemini, welcome to your mid monthly reading for April, but you're going to do something a little bit different today. Instead of looking into your past, present, and future, we are going to look at the energies that are surrounding you, okay? Specifically a person that you're dealing with. Also, we have some news. If you are a cusp, um, we are going to have a little reading for you. So it should be up by the end of April, possibly. And if you don't know if you're a cusp, if you don't know what it is, uh, very quickly is when a sun, uh, when a sign is setting, and when a sun, well, why do I keep saying sun? When a sign is setting and when a sign is rising. It's that short period when both meet. It's like a period of five, six days. And that means that you have energy of both. Um, of both those signs, okay? So for me, for example, I'm a Leo Virgo cusp, so I uh, have energy from both Leo and Virgo, okay? So, yeah, let's, let's get into your reading. For Gemini, mid monthly reading. Oops. Anything else? Gemini. Okay. So we got impartiality, quest, and faith. There is something that you're putting possibly too much pressure on or You're, the, that quest card is about matching dangers where they don't exist. Okay, and also by having that impartiality card, I feel like you're not really seeing both sides, you know? You know how they have the... He, this guy has two cans of paint. Okay, and he's balanced. And right now I feel like you're tending more to one side because you don't have all the facts. That's quite what I'm getting. So you kind of are seeing dangers and seeing fears and things that are not really supposed to be there. You just don't know everything that is happening. Okay, I feel like some information is not being said here. That is making you go into this fear mode. Let's see, what else for Gemini with Mothman? Let's see, for Gemini, please, what do we need to know? For Gemini, I need monthly reading. Oh my god, okay. And we got another one that fell to the ground. Okay. Let's see, anything else? Hmm. So the retreat card here could be actually where you're at right now. 
this person and I feel like this is the other person not you they might have left a little bit out of the blue and not really say anything and you're kind of thinking they left so nothing is going to happen something like that you know um, I feel like you're it's not really suffering but you're thinking something that is not true unnecessarily okay we also have express your love very soon and wedding so this could actually be about a marriage that you are currently in or this relationship might involve marriage in the future and that wedding wedding marriage thing um, if you want to get proposed that might actually be the thing that you're thinking it will never happen, okay? But it's actually going to happen very, very soon, okay? Um, the retreat card might actually be to you, about you, that you may need some time for yourself to really figure out what you really want, okay? But love is going to be expressed soon. Possibly a proposal, could be. Who knows? Let's pull some tarot. And I got a very earth energy here. So you could definitely be dealing with an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Let's see. For Gemini, what do we got? So let's see the overall energy for this reading. What is the overall energy, please? Ooh, five of cups. Can you give me one more, please? Give me one more for the overall energy, please. of cups okay so I feel like someone regrets it could be you it could be them but I feel like it's them regrets that something happened it could be regrets that they acted the way they acted like leaving out of the blue um, and now they are coming with a offer of love that's very beautiful so let's see your energy Tell me about Gemini's energy, please. This is for Gemini. Anything else? like you're having this whatever happened caused you a lot of confusion and you're holding on a little bit to the confusion okay I feel like that impartiality you're it's almost like you're wanting to be partial 
okay and I feel like you need to take that blindfold you need to let go of that holding on you can't hold on to this anymore and really see the things that you're not seeing right now okay and really get an impartial point of view okay look at options not options people I don't really see it that way I see that it's more you should look at other possibilities of things that are happening okay don't jump into conclusions and I feel like someone again this uh, offer of love is going to help bring a little bit of clarity okay and it's almost like the universe is like nudging the other person to like yo you should say something you know but you're feeling very very um, hurt about this okay with the three of cups I feel like you're possibly talking to your friends about it really letting out but not really talking to this person about how you feel okay let's see the person you're dealing with what is their energy please Anything else? Because that is a beautiful card, but I would like something else, please. What is the energy of the person Gemini is dealing with? Nothing else, really? We got one more okay Woo. <laughs> so queen of cups so much freaking love with the two of wands I feel like they're trying to decide really what to do how to make it up to you it seemed more like that because they really love you and they know that they hurt you and they want to make it up to you page of cups apology okay to be honest But we'll see. Uh, let's see your feelings. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Anything else? Gemini's feelings towards this person, please. Anything else? Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. So what I'm getting uh, with the Seven of Swords, it's almost like you're saying like, oh no, I'm mad. I'm I'm so mad. I'm I'm pissed off. I'm going to leave, and I never want to see you again. Yeah, that's not true. You know, <laughs> that's not true at all. It's almost like you say that, but at the same time, you stay in your place. You don't move a finger. Nothing. Because you freaking love this person and you want to work on things together. If there is something that you need to work on the relationship, you want to. You want to just tell them that you love them. You want to work on things. You want to heal from whatever needs to be healed from. And yeah, I feel like that Seven of Swords is just you playing hard sort of like saying oh no i'm leaving i don't i don't want to be with you 
but you do and you don't move at all <laughs> so let's see their feelings towards you Mm-hmm. Okay. So here's the deal. They might have commitment issues. There is definitely something that is very toxic to them. Or around them. Not really to them. It's like around them. And that's why they left. Not really, I don't feel like they left left. They just disconnected from the world. The retreat card... It's time to disconnect from the world. This is what they did. They disconnected. They didn't say a thing about it to anyone. Okay? And I feel like it was to face this, all this conflict, all this toxic energy, all this bad, like, manipulation or deception. All this that they needed to take care of. They needed to go within to take a look at it. And they did. They possibly have abandonment issues five of pentacles um and that's why they might be a little bit protective of their independence and their their singlehood you know they could have been played a lot in the past and that kind of created some marks, some bruises in them that they are taking care of, okay? And do not worry, this this obviously makes them sad, but do not worry because this is ending and happiness is arriving, okay? Happiness is taking place here. New beginning. Grounded, passionate, solid, okay? So, Gemini, this is what I have for you. I hope it helped and it resonated somehow. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.